Tomo News presents Wearable Gadgets. Digital contact lens gives a glimpse into the future. Tech giant Sony has joined the race to develop digital contact lens technology. According to an application filed with the U.S. Patent Office, Sony has plans for a wearable lens that can take photos and video. Sony filed a patent in the U.S. in May of 2013 for a smart contact lens, a fact only picked up by the media this week. The device would not only take photos and video, but also store data with no need for a tether to a smartphone. The lens would feature an organic, electroluminescence display screen. By blinking an eye, the user would be able to operate the lens via the display. The camera would feature autofocus, automatic exposure adjustment, and an adjustable zoom. The device would also be able to record video, store it, and play it back. The news that Sony has been working on this technology for several years follows a trend set by Google and Samsung. In 2014, Google revealed a high-tech lens to help diabetics measure glucose levels in their tears. Samsung unveiled plans for a smart contact lens that houses a tiny camera. It seems the time when anything and everything can be filmed on the sly is not too far away. High-tech bikini will prevent sunburn. The French basically invented the bikini, and their latest revamp gives a whole new meaning to wearable tech. French firm Spinali Design this week began selling a new age suit that helps prevent sunburns. The device, dubbed the Connected Bikini, is equipped with a removable waterproof UV sensor that monitors the time a user spends in the sun. To get started, users input their skin type into an app available for iOS and Android. Throughout the day, the sensor monitors the temperature, warning users when they've spent too much time under direct sunlight by sending an alert to their smartphones. The so-called smart bikinis went on sale this week starting at 167 each. A Valentine's Day version sends a message to your partner so they can apply the sunscreen on your behalf. And a beach towel offering the same function is also available for purchase. Electronics just became a lot more wearable. A new body of work by a group of Japanese engineers could have us staring at the backs of our hands instead of our phones. A research group from the University of Tokyo has developed an electronic skin that can be worn like a temporary tattoo. The e-skin, although composed of several layers, is only three micrometers thick. It's also flexible and can withstand crumpling and distortion. A protective layer keeps out oxygen and water vapor, enabling the prototype to function for several days. Currently, the device can work as a pulse oximeter, measuring blood oxygen levels via light-emitting diodes that are laminated on the finger. The team is working on ways to further the technology, which in the future can be used to monitor people's health. With advancements like this that fuse technology and biology, it may only be a matter of time before we all start wearing our smart devices like second skin. Google has filed a patent for a device that draws blood without a needle. Speculation is mounting online that Google's next piece of wearable technology will be a smartwatch that can draw blood. According to Gizmodo, the gadget could be used to help diabetics monitor blood sugar levels. Diabetics must monitor blood sugar levels several times a day to avoid complications from the disease. The watch works by pricking the finger with a detachable chamber and drawing blood without using a needle. A detachable chamber is placed on top of a fingertip, and a gas-powered microparticle is blasted through it towards the skin. The microparticle, which could be as small as 10 microns, as 10 millionths of a meter, pierces the skin and the device draws a small vial of blood into a pressurized chamber. Now containing a blood sample, the device is reattached to the watch, which could be used to measure glucose levels. The jewelry of the future is alive. Researchers from MIT Media Lab have taken wearable tech to another level by developing jewelry designed with small robots that can roam freely around your body. The robot consists of motors connected to magnetic wheels on top and underneath the fabric, which allow it to change orientation. The overlay cover can be covered in gem-like or fabric-like material. 
the robots can form various shapes and designs when used as jewelry. They can also adjust the clothing of the user when detecting a change in temperature or serve as a microphone when the user needs to answer a call. Currently, the robots have been designed to be palm-sized, but researchers said they will be miniaturized to the point that they can be seamlessly integrated into existing body ornamentation. Still, wouldn't it feel weird to have something crawling up and down your body? This super suit can help your grandmother get around more easily. A California-based startup has designed a powered suit that can provide extra muscle strength for elderly people and increase their mobility. The Aura Powered Suit is a smart suit designed to be worn in direct contact with the body. The hexagonal pods placed around muscle groups contain batteries, control boards, and elastic muscle technology. The technology contains a smart material that behaves like human muscle, which expands when exposed to an electric current and contracts when the current is removed. The suit is configured to be aligned with the body's natural muscular movements and provides extra power by the mechanical motion of the smart material. It can provide support for the user when sitting down and add muscle power when getting up. Although currently designed for the elderly, the technology was originally developed as part of a program to reduce injuries in soldiers carrying heavy loads. Wearable energy generator powered by urine. Researchers at the University of West England have invented a pair of socks that use urine to fuel a generator that can power a wireless transmitter. The urine-powered footwear design was inspired by the simple cardiovascular system of fish. Soft tubes under the heels pump urine when a person is walking, circulating the urine over microbial fuel cells embedded in the socks. The microbial fuel cells contain bacteria that consume organic waste. The fuel cells convert energy produced by microbial growth into electricity. The electricity generated by the socks can power a wireless transmitter that sends a signal to a computer. The system comes with a container that can store up to 648 milliliters of urine. According to a press release published by the University of West England's website, this technology can use any organic waste to produce electricity. It also opens up the possibility to use waste to power portable and wearable devices. Samsung unveils wearable batteries. A subsidiary of South Korean multinational conglomerate Samsung unveiled a new range of wearable batteries at an exhibition in Seoul last week. Samsung SDI has unveiled a new range of batteries called the Band and the Stripe, which can be attached to current smart wearables. The Band is designed for smartwatches and is designed to provide up to 50% more battery life. The stripe is just 0.3 millimeters in depth and can be bent into different shapes, making it suitable for accessories such as necklaces and headbands. However, these new batteries are now only prototypes and Samsung has not yet announced a release date. How wasted are you? Wearables are all the rage these days, and there's finally one that promises to turn most of us into responsible alcoholics. Proof is a wristband that functions like a fitness tracker, but tracks alcohol content instead of activity and discreetly displays it on your phone. The wearable reads alcohol molecules in the skin and converts it into an electrical current using a disposable cartridge that can last for up to 12 hours. It's capable of predicting how drunk or sober the wearer is and can send out alerts once a specific blood alcohol level is reached. There's also an invite-only friends feature that allows the user to keep track of how much alcohol their loved ones have had. Proof is looking at a target price of $100 to $150 and is said to be crowdfunded sometime in 2017. Until then, drink responsibly! Japan's largest mobile network operator has debuted prototype glasses that can view, manipulate virtual images and perform a variety of other tasks. Text captured by a camera is sent to a cloud server and analyzed in real time before the translation is sent back. The device also features facial recognition software. Names and titles can be input into the device to provide a virtual business card service. The head-mounted display can provide instant translation of written text in Japanese, English, Chinese and Korean in around 5 seconds. The technology can also turn flat surfaces into pseudo touchscreens using a ring that relays hand movements on the blank surface back to the glasses.
A Canadian company has developed a wearable authentication device that utilizes the user's electrocardiogram to validate their identity. The device has two electrodes that measure a user's heartbeat. To authenticate, a user must touch the top electrode for a few seconds, while NIMI cross-references the heartbeat. The device uses Bluetooth Low Energy, which has extremely low power consumption while maintaining a similar communication range as classic Bluetooth technology. It also has an integrated accelerometer and gyroscope, which allows users to use gestures to perform task-specific commands. It only works with paired devices. Once connected, it vibrates and responds to notifications on the device, such as new email. The company says the technology can also be embedded into other accessories, such as rings or belts. Google patents new baseball cap camera system. Google was granted a patent on Tuesday for a new type of wearable tech, which is a video camera system mounted on a baseball cap. Google's wearable camera system can be mounted on the brim of a baseball cap. It is equipped with a built-in microphone and can connect to the wearer's mobile device via an app. The wearer hears audio via bone conduction, which is when sound waves are converted into vibrations that are received directly by the ear's cochlea. The wearer can capture photos and videos and upload the footage directly to social media platforms. Google's earlier creation, Google Glass, is also equipped with a camera system and comes with a price tag of $1,500. It's not yet clear how the patented baseball cap camera system would be priced, 